It's really, it's all about this whole package. You gotta get a little of that chicken, rice, gulai. <laughs> that sambal, no joke. Malaysia has one of the most incredible food cultures in the world. And in this video, we are going to highlight one of our favorite Malay dishes that we've had so far, nasi ukus, which hails from the east coast of peninsular Malaysia. So sit back, relax, grab some snack too. You might get hungry. We are at famous Ilham. It smells delicious in this place. The smell is the appetizer here. And this is nasi kokos ayam goreng rempa. We got here, they said you gotta wait about 10, 15 minutes for the fresh ayam goreng rempa, the spiced fried chicken. And we we're glad to wait because we just saw it bubbling. You could smell the aromas. It was, just, it was torture to go over there and wait, but it's all for this. This is, this is the big payoff right here. Everything is wrapped up here, bungkus style, like to go. Nasi kukus means steamed rice. So there's this big multi-layer steamers over here with these little uh, round packets of the rice. That's why they're shaped so nicely, like this round mound right here. So he just plops it down onto the banana leaf, smacks it down, uh, puts all these big chunks of pineapple here. And then you have some um, ikan bilis on the side, the fried anchovy. And then you get your chicken. He asks you what type you want. So I went with the wing. Jumi's got the thigh. And then he gives you a little packets. One is this delicious looking gulai curry right here. And then one of the samba, which is like a multicolor samba. Oh, I don't even want to talk about this anymore. I just want to eat. I'm gonna go first with this uh, I am going rempa. This is, oh, it just smells so good. Oh, let's, just, let's get in there. Mmm, wow, so nice and freshly fried. It's got a little bit of the crispy edges on the side, which I'm gonna take a bite of. Mmm, it's also nice and hot. So it doesn't have like an extreme rempa flavor, so it doesn't have a lot of that like lemongrass and other spices to it, but this is a really well fried chicken. Wow, right now I'm gonna go ahead and try this nasi that I've drenched in this gulai. It's just covered. I love it, it's just, you don't really find any white piece of rice. Probably until you dig inside, but let's get in there. This is very, when you touch it, it's just very firm. So you can just pull out a piece like this. So you can see inside, that's the plain rice. There's the curry. So it's, it's from being in that container that stays very firm, so. Oh, this, this gulai smells incredible. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh my God. It's exploding with flavors. This curry is just out of control. Oh my God. Spicy. It's got a lot of spice in here. It definitely tastes cumin. It's got probably got some turmeric in here. It's, you can just give me a big jug of this curry. I will drink it. Like, no problem. Oh, that sambal's got a kick got a real kick it looks like it too you can see the green you can see the red you can see all those seeds that's how you know it's gonna be spicy it's really it's all about this whole package because it's not so cool you gotta get a little of that chicken you gotta get that rice you gotta get that gulai you gotta get that sambal and a little of the pineapple too I'm gonna go in with the mega bite bong bong that's how you're gonna enjoy this nasi cuckoo get it all in one bite Man, it's all good, but the star of that show is that gulai. That gulai is just totally next level. So you mix it in with that pineapple chicken, you get that nice, salty, sweet, spicy, curry flavor, cumin, you get it all, and you get that little funky fish flavor. Oh, you got about the cambelis. Mm. Get it all in there for the ultimate bite, guys. The spot is delicious, it's definitely worth coming out here for it to PJ. Oh wow, your mouth is just bursting with so much flavor that it's just amazing. We wouldn't have known to come here if it wasn't for Puri and Sue. Thank you because you showed us this place. Uh, for this spot right here, uh, Maliki Nascupus, we heard about it from the Jet Lag Warriors. Check them out too, awesome channel. Travelers from around here, they're here in Malaysia too. Without further ado, let's go. This nasi kukus, we just doused it in this amazing looking gravy, curry. I'm not sure what it is, I'm about to find out. Let's try that first. Mm. 
That's like sweet, spicy, curry. This little shred here. Mm. So much flavor in this. This is incredible. Without further ado, let's give this a bite. You can already see the shards of lemongrass. Looks pretty yellow. I bet you there's turmeric here. Can't even talk about it anymore. Let's take a bite. Mm. The, the first bite right away, I got a bit of sweetness to there. Uh, the chicken, it's it's the fried chicken, but it's not really crispy. It's more, it doesn't look like it really has like breading on it or anything like that. It's just, it's covered in the rempa, the spices. Very juicy, very well flavored. Definitely tastes turmeric in here too. There's a nice stack, this rempa right here. The shards of lemongrass. Let's try the rempa by itself. Oh, and here's some pineapple as well. It looks very ripe. Very interesting dish here. I like all these different flavors. It definitely has a sweetness to it. It's the spice. We also have the sambal here too. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rip a piece of the chicken right here. Put it with the rice, a little bit of sambal, a little cucumber, a little bit of cracker. Let's get the big ultimate bite. Mm. Oh. This sauce right here, this this gravy curry is just phenomenal. It really makes the dish extra special. Then you pair it up with that flavorful ayam rempa, and then you have the sweetness from the pineapple, the crunchy cucumber. Just a little crack right here. Awesome, awesome. Wow. Have this. This. Mm. Heavily spiced in a good way. are at Farnese Nasi Kokos. It's a cool place. It's like under a tent outside a mosque. People are here eating on long tables and there's different stalls in this whole tent. It's about two o'clock and we came here late. We were told that if we came early here, we would get um, more stuff. It looks very delicious. All right, so this spot is only open from 11 to 2 every day, so it's lunchtime only. So definitely better to get here on the earlier side because uh, we were told that uh, we missed out on the cucumber, cabbage, a couple other little sides here. Uh, what they do here at the nasi kukus, they have the, the, the rice. So the nasi kukus is the steamed rice. It's shaped in this little bowl, right? So they smack it down on this paper right here. So it gets that really nice shape from the bowl. They douse it in the gulai, that really nice looking curry here. Uh, they put this really spicy looking sambal. I'm really excited to see that. The slivers here, not sure what they are. Might be beef, we're gonna figure that out. And they put this beautiful piece of I am goreng barempa, the spice fried chicken on top. Man, this smells so good. I'm ready to just dig in. They could have tried first just the rice with the gulai. This nice clump right here. Mmm, wow. Oh, that gulai is just packed full of flavor. Oh, man. Mm. With that strong curry taste, that strong cumin taste. Probably some cardamom in here, too. Wow. This, this alone, just the rice with that gulai would be plenty. Yeah, I'd be happy with just that. And now I'm gonna get into some more good stuff. I'm gonna figure out what this sliver of meat is right here. It's kind of... Tastes like beef. Does it look like beef? Tastes like beef? Probably beef. <laughs> <laughs> Beef's a little on the saltier side, but nice to balance out that heavily spiced gulai. Now I'm gonna try some of that sambal right here. Looks kind of menacing. See a lot of seeds here, it's very red. I bet it's gonna be spicy. Let's find out a little of the gulai. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that sambal no joke. I knew from all the seeds it'll be spicy. It was really good too. It's got that really like tangy, limey flavor to go with it too. Nice contrast. This chicken is calling my name and I gotta try it. It looks great. It really looks like it's got a lot of the rempa in there. Probably shards of lemongrass is what it looks like. Mmm. Oh, that's some good chicken. You know, we came late. Um, the chicken is still really fresh and crispy and warm. I can only imagine if you come here earlier when it comes right out of the fryer, but it's still really good. You can really get that lemongrass with some turmeric in here because you can see the chicken's quite yellow. But very crispy. And now I'm gonna take a piece of the chicken. I'm gonna scoop the rice with the gulai, a little of the sambal, go into that big perfect bite. Mm. 
Get a nice texture, that crunchy skin on the chicken. You got that rich gulai, a little spicy sambal, and that really dense, compact rice. It's really good stuff right here. All the nasi kukus we had, all quite different. Ooh, look at how yellow that chicken is. Just like how Greg described gulai, it is amazing. Wow. <laughs> the sambal is really spicy. 